everyone, I'm Marilee Blair and I'm obsessed with traveling as I've been to 54 countries so far. And today I'm going to talk to you about Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona, Spain is known in Europe as the jewel of the Mediterranean and it's because it has everything you could want to do in a big city from fun art museums, gorgeous churches, incredible architecture, beaches to relax, amazing nightlife, delicious food, and so much to do you'll never get bored. I love Barcelona so much that I made my second trip here in October 2022 with my friend who really wanted to see Spain. And I also wanted to see the progress of the La Sagrada Familia since it had been about six years from my first Barcelona trip. And the La Sagrada Familia is one of the most famous landmarks in Barcelona as Paris has the Eiffel Tower. Barcelona has the gorgeous cathedral La Sagrada Familia. Its beautiful, unique Gothic architecture was designed by Anton Gaudi and it's considered one of the most popular attractions in Spain. It's been more than 140 years since they first began construction in year 1882 of the La Sagrada and it's expected to be finished in 2026. Once the spines of the church are complete, it will be considered the tallest cathedral in the world. But it doesn't matter when you see the La Sagrada. It's beautiful no matter what phase it is in of being completed. And again, since this was my second trip to Spain, I feel like I'm a pretty good expert in Barcelona. So here are some of my travel tips for hotels, activities, and recommendations of things to do in the jewel of the Mediterranean. For the hotel we chose, I knew I wanted an amazing view of the La Sagrada Familia. And I followed so many travel influencers on Instagram, which helped me find the hotel my friend and I decided to stay at. We loved the rooftop bar view they had at one of these gorgeous hotels. And they were already booked for reservations for dinner to enjoy the rooftop bar. And their website mentioned it, you can't go if you don't have a reservation. But if you were staying at the hotel, you get to enjoy the rooftop whenever you want without a reservation. So it helped us book this hotel since we both wanted to stay here and be able to enjoy the rooftop whenever we wanted. I booked a six night stay on Expedia since it was a great deal. It cost us $1,046.76 for six nights, which is about $175 a night. Divided by two, that's $523.38 each, which is one of the best deals for Great View Hotel in Europe. And I know this because I've been to Europe a lot in so many different countries. So that's a great deal. And this location was amazing. It was about five minutes away from the La Sagrada, close to the metro, and walking distance to so many amazing restaurants. The rooftop bar not only had amazing views, but it also had great drinks and food to enjoy as well. For currency, Barcelona uses the Euro, but since I have a Chase Reserve credit card, I like to use that on the majority of purchases, but it's always important to have some cash just in case for taxis, um, in case the Metro credit card doesn't work and only takes euros and for emergencies. You should always have some cash in the country you go to's currency, just in case. For activities that you pay for, I highly recommend these four attractions. Number one, of course, the La Sagrada Familia. You have to see the inside. It's incredible to see Gaudi's work. So beautiful how it was completed. It reminds me of a Disney-influenced architecture. And it's just so beautiful, it'll leave you speechless. Number two, Park Well. It's one of my absolute favorite parks in the world. I was so excited to go back and see this amazing architect Gaudi also designed Park Well. It's an incredible experience for the whole family. It gives you the fantasy type of vibe in the 43 acre park. And my favorite part is the large dragon staircase with so many intricate designs. Number three, Casa Batillo. It's another incredible building designed by Gaudi and it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This trip was my first time inside the house and we loved every moment of it as there was so much beauty in the building. I love Gaudi's art so much. And number four, a day trip to Garona in the Dali Museum. It was supposed to be Costa Brava, but the tour company changed it to Garona. And Garona is a cute small town in Spain um, where parts of Game of Thrones were filmed. I highly recommend this tour if you do have time. We could have spent the whole day at the Dali Museum to enjoy his artwork, and it was mine and my friend's favorite. We enjoyed every detail of his art from the twisted looking clocks, those are my favorite. And we booked everything directly on their websites or in person. The only one we booked on Get Your Guide was the Garona and Dali Museum day tour. Free things for you to enjoy and see in Barcelona. The Arc de Triomphe, the Las Ramblas Square, which is great. There's so many good restaurants and there's a flamenco dinner, sh dinner show, which is great. I went before with my husband. Uh, the Magic Fountain of Montajuc is beautiful during the day and night. 
It was under construction this recent trip, but if it's open, I highly recommend you go. It's so beautiful. And the Picasso Museum, you can actually go on days that it's free. Just look it up in Google. So I recommend going there. You definitely need to go to the Gothic Quarter where the Cathedral de Barcelona is. It's so beautiful. And if you have time to check out the Barcelona beach for a relaxing beach day and don't pay to go to an observation deck. Instead, go to 360 Rooftop, which has an amazing 360 view of the entire city of Barcelona. There weren't many people there, so we felt like we had the rooftop to ourselves. Transportation. We utilized the Metro and walked a lot, 20,000 steps a day. And we use Uber when we needed to. It wasn't very expensive. Uber's actually really cheap in Barcelona um, in, and it's cheaper than the US, but walking and Metro is your key. Food. My friend found all the best food spots for us to go. Our number one favorite was La Peradeta. So much delicious seafood that you chose fresh fish and they cooked it for you. The best fresh seafood of my life. I will always go back just to Barcelona to go there. Also the Mercado de la Boquera. Um, I got some great sandwiches and empanadas, um, the Hoffman croissants are amazing, and paella from Sagrada's Tapas, and La Pedreta was my favorite paella. Favorite gelato, Santo Gelato, uh, the best bread, Pa Negre, best baby chocolates, uh, croissants, Casa Moner. We also got chocolate filled churros dipped in hot chocolate from Zuzera Las Palmeras, and we also got delicious nougat from La Campana, a dessert owned store that's been around since 1890, owned by four generations of the same family. And I got red velvet gelato from there. Um, I did gain five pounds from this trip because the food was so good. For nightlife, my first time in Barcelona, I was still into the club scene. So my husband and I went to Club Opium and it's great because they had a free guest list. You just sign up for online to get in for free. And so if you're into the club scene, I highly recommend doing that. This trip, it was actually no longer free, but there were still a lot of clubs that I signed up for in case my friend and I wanted to go, but we ended up deciding not to go. We found a speakeasy that she actually found that was voted the world's 50 best bars. We waited two hours in line to get in, but it was so worth the wait. The drinks and the food were amazing. So, and the waiter felt bad, so he gave us <laughs> free shots for waiting two hours. The cool drinks they had, my friend got a cloud drink and a kryptonite drink, and I got a seashell treasures chest and a voyage spaceship drink. They were delicious and just really uniquely designed. I highly recommend it. There is just so much more I can say of things to do in Barcelona. There's just so much to do in that city alone. But I hope this video gave you a good idea of the main things you could do in Barcelona, depending how long you have. And even though this was a six night trip, I've been to Barcelona six days before. So I do feel like I'm a good person to give you perspective on different things you can do. And I'll go a third time, but don't get overwhelmed. If you can't do everything, just choose the main things you really wanna do and make time for those. And it will be a magical trip. Thank you again for exploring the world one video at a time with me, your own personal bougie budgeter. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and look for brand new episodes every Wednesday. And let me know what your dream destination is in the comment section below. And for all the helpful links and info I mentioned in this video, read them in my description below.